Hi, happy Saturday. This is Robert at Blockchain Education. I wanted to show you guys how to set up our amazing automatic spot trading system. This is inside our members area in the auto trading selection. And here we have categories, spot auto trading, futures auto trading, and margin auto trading. For now, let's take a look at the spot auto trading. And I'm going to show you guys the, uh, the history of a couple of these signals and how to determine, based on your trading uh, methods, how much profit to take. So let's go in there and look at first at the hot signals. The results is where it shows the, the, uh, the gains that each coin has taken over the last 30 days, starting with the most recent. The most recent calls are probably going to be about uh, one hour old. So these are hot signals. These come out all the time. Sometimes they come out every hour. Sometimes it waits a little bit. It just depends on when the system thinks the, uh, that there's calls out there or, or pairs out there that qualify for this type of signal. So here we have a lot of coins taking off right away out of the starting gate. ADA, 4.81% in one hour and 20 minutes. Um, REN, US dollar tether. Now ADA was, was against Bitcoin. So uh, REN, US dollar tether, 4.11% in one hour and 20 minutes. Um, other notable trades are ZRX, 3.67% in two hours, one minute. Now once we go down and start seeing these really starting to see their true potential, you start seeing things like Nano, 14 hours, 13.84%. This is the date and timestamp, UTC time. You can go back and look on TradingView and, or Binance and say, yep, it was 3.4644 at 1220 UTC time on January 16th. So this is automated. Every every single uh, call is date and time stamped. Once we get down to a few days, we start seeing really amazing profits. One day, about one and a half days, we're looking at 21.3% on MTL versus Bitcoin. If you'll notice, about oh, approximately half or at least 40% of these are against Bitcoin, and the rest are against US dollar tether comes out with an occasional call against BNB, which, hey, one of those is okay. I don't mind gaining 34% on my extra BNB against IOS. No problem. I'll take it. One day, 17 hours. So here's what I would do. <clears throat> I would look at these and consider time in each signal, waiting for maximum profit. Um, Keep that kind of in the back of your mind as a factor. I think it's safe with the way the market is to take anywhere from, you know, if you if you really want it to be fully passive, just take like one one or two percent, and just let it run, no stop loss. If you want to manage trades and maybe check once or twice a day for a few minutes, you can take twenty to 50%, no problem. We've actually had some members who took 100% across the board and then just managed every trade. Um, you can adjust your amount per signal versus your allocated, what you allocate for this signal type, and you can control how many signals you get into at a time. So based on your take profit, if you want to wait two or three days, which is a very short time to make 20, 30, 40 percent or more, then you would want to set your take profit high, manage your trades, and check them just two times a day. So once we get down eight, nine days, everything's pretty much double digits, 20, 30 percent, 266 percent on IOST versus Ethereum. So that's pretty amazing and they're all amazing. So let's go back and do the setup. So on the hot signals, if you'd like to set this signal up, 
you go into settings and then you first thing you do is answer this question would you like to activate it yes so that opens up your other fields allocate budget let's say you're going to get into you know a couple different signals spot signals um, hot signals is the first one we're looking at here let's say I want to put five hundred dollars and that means five hundred dollars would be traded in open trades at any given time maximum um, it's pretty reasonable to split it about 10 parts you can do a little more a little less um, if you do less um, signals less open signals you kind of run a, a slightly higher risk of not getting some of those great hundred percent calls if you're going to take a high profit so I would recommend let's say 40 that's going to get me into 11 or 12 I'll probably change this to like 550 just to make sure I get into 12 signals so take profit is just straight take profit you can do 2% you can do 20% you can do 50% if you do anything more than about 2 or 3% you're going to want to manage all your trades because what you do not want to have happen is have your take profit at say even you know 30 percent a few of the signals don't make it and then by the time you look at them you've already gone down 20 percent so the idea behind this is to catch the big increasing coins that run 30 40 50 percent by having a high take profit and the idea behind having say a two percent is to have everything just run passively if you have a day job you know kids at home got to take them to school pick them up um, of course that was the olden days this is the new age they're probably schooling from home so anyway take profit or you can do trailing profit now the way this works is let's say you set this at ten percent that's your trigger now the call comes out the price starts going up nothing is going to happen until it gets to 10 percent when it does get to 10 percent your deviation is going to kick in in the form of a trailing stop so let's say it goes up to 10 percent and then just right from there falls back two percent then it will sell at an eight percent net gain on that signal but if you set it at 3% deviation, it goes up to 10%, doesn't go back 3% until it gets to 20%, for example, then it finally falls back a whole 3%. Then it, if it went to 20%, you would end up selling at 17% net. So a little bit of a more spread here will increase your chances of possibly going higher. And for that you give up just one percent in profit so i would say this is a pretty good spread here for trigger value versus deviation now if i want to go like forty percent and when it falls back five percent i'm going to catch it just to make sure that you know maybe the trend is over maybe not but here you have a pretty good chance of going higher if that is going to go higher especially if you manage your calls your signals um, it's a really good idea to use higher numbers that way you catch those big 30 40 percent gains so all you do here after you enter your allocated per say yes allocated amount per signal amount take profit or trailing profit there's also a, uh, a stop loss available but I have found over the last several years that a stop loss is a very consistent way to lose money so if you want to get stopped out at five percent below the entry price on every call that's okay but i really don't recommend it um, stop loss is like insurance it costs money sometimes quite a bit of money but it will protect you against um, catastrophic losses um, what i use that's almost as good is the deviation number that goes along with the trailing profit trigger this is like a stop loss so if the trend goes up it hits 40 percent or a little higher and then it just goes you know and plummets 
it will catch you at 5% below wherever the gains have went to past 40%. So that is what I would do there. Save changes, click there, and then you're in for the next group of hot signals. They come out every top of the hour. So um, let's take a real quick look at medium long-term signals. This is actually probably my first or maybe second favorite signal. And these are incredible also. They're just running really quick numbers. 12% on mana in 11 hours, 11 and a half hours. Once you get up to uh, you know a day or two, you start seeing double digits. At one, one day and 16 hours, BAT, 13%. ICX 16%, CIS 10.85%, ADA versus F almost 20% in just under two days. So these are really, really good calls. Um, the algorithm that was written to catch these is an incredible piece of programming and nobody else on the planet has anything near this good. If you don't believe me, go look. I'm serious. This is the best. So this is how you do it, and it would be the same process to get into medium long term. You would go into settings. Just think of this as your personal setup. Click there, and once again, you click here, turn it on, allocate budget for this particular uh, signal set. Put your amount per signal based on how many open trades maximum, maximum that you want to have at any given time. So take profit, trailing profit, whatever you want to do here, depending on how much you want to manage your signals. Save changes and you're in. Top of the hour, you'll be coming into new signals. Automatically, that's it. The next uh, video I'm going to make is about futures. See you then.